Outraged people living in this neighborhood in Chula Vista called 10 News tonight after they say a caravan of campers lined up on their street and they're leaving human waste behind. 10 News reporter Riel Creighton is live in Chula Vista and Riel, people living in this area say the smell is unbearable and nothing's being done about it. Yeah, Kim, really the only way to describe it is that it really stinks around here. You know, it has not rained in this part of Chula Vista today, but take a look at this. This little mini river that runs all the way down there to that camper back there. Well, if you talk to the people who live just across the street over there, they will tell you you take one whiff and it's not hard to figure out what this is. Can you smell it? Did this smell get you? Yeah. Abelardo Roja took us on a tour. There's like an infection fungus right there, you know. Of the row of campers that park day and night next to his home. Sometimes they stay uh, like two, for two or three months. So, and it stink, it smell. Francisco Calderon is the manager at the Bay Village Apartments across the street. He's also fed up with what he says is a huge problem for him and his tenants. So they came out from the door and they do pee pee right here. He, he, he can show the concrete, see the spot right here. The men claim what they say are street people living in these campers do drugs and have turned their nice little neighborhood at C Street in Chula Vista into a real sewer. This is a PC uh, or a screaming from uh, someone. An almost homeless encampment where they urinate, defecate, and dump all their waste into the street. <laughs> We tried to talk to one of the people inside one of the mobile homes. You don't know anything about anybody leaving feces or urine or any kind of their trash in the street? No. Meanwhile, Rocha and Calderon say their calls to police to clean this up have gone unanswered. In the meantime, Rocha tells us sometimes there are as many as 14 to 16 campers out here at night. We can tell you since we've been here, our cameras have been here, many of them have since scattered. We did, however, contact police who said they were not immediately aware of the problem, but they would look into it and get back with us. We're live in Chula Vista tonight. Riel Creighton, 10 News.